same hair that Christ got. It look like the same hair that King Solomon had before you put that wig on. Before we blind our hair, it looked just like the people in the Bible. Y'all understand that? We come from rulerships. Right. We don't just come from niggas. Right. Our forefathers and forefathers was kings and rulers. Read what you got. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the Ancient of Days did sit. What does it mean to be the Ancient of Days, Miss Kenya? What does that mean? What does it mean to be the Ancient of Days, Miss Kenya? Yeah. To be the Ancient of Days. Think about that. You know, Miss Pator? That means you was here before days started. This is talking about God. That's We're going right. to get a description of what God looked like. Because right. you know what's funny? They like to say, oh, God doesn't have a color, brother. That's right. God is all colors. Right. What the hell have you seen a rainbow man walking around? <laughs> Bring it out. That's what they say. That's what they say. Am I right or am I wrong? But let's read what God looked like. Daniel 7, verse 9. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Read. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Talking about the Most High God. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So hold up. God had on a garment. Has on a garment just like these. Obviously, his stuff probably better than us. We have to get ours from our slave master. But guess what he have on a garment? Read. Garment was white as snow. Uh -huh. And the hair of his head. The hair on his head. Read. Like the pure wool. What kind of hair does God have, sis? Wool, like an afro, like a negro. God has woolly hair. Right. So now we got to go back and ask ourselves, why do we blonde our hair? Why do we straighten our hair? Right. Why do we flat down our hair and get all these damn perms and stuff on our head? When we got hair like God. Right. Right. Can't everybody say that? Brad can't say that. Right. Jan Lee can't say that. Right. Karen can't say that. Right. Uh, Hatim can't say that. We the only people that got hair like God. We look like the people in the Bible. We look like the host of heaven. That's a special thing. That's why it's important that your son know that. It's important because for your son to know who he is and where he came from. And we are not just Negroes. We are the Israelites. We are the real Jews. That's right. Why is that important? Why is that? Hey, I know, Pretor. That's what I was thinking, too. Because before I first heard this, I was like, I ain't trying to hear that Bible stuff. I ain't with that religion stuff. But guess what? This is our heritage. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Because something y'all got to understand is the things that we do here in America, God never told us to do these things. We do the things that we learn where? In slavery. What's your last name, Mr. Tour? Chalmers. Chalmers. Say it again. Chalmers. Chalmers. When your forefathers got here on the slave ship, you think they got off the ship and they was like, hey, the Chalmers here. We ready for Christmas, y'all. Hell no. It was a white man behind that Exactly. Door. Now read Jeremiah 17. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. But guess what? It's prophecy that we as a people would discontinue or stop from our heritage. Right. For example, if I was to ask you, what is the black man and black woman's heritage? What would you say? Uh-oh. Ken, what would you say? Oh, so let me let me rephrase it. Heritage. Let me rephrase it. Heritage. Another word for heritage is culture. For example, what? All right, I'm, I'm just gonna let you answer. What's our culture? Now, that's the problem. It's your life. Dancing. So hey, so hold on. When you look at dancing in the black community, we don't be doing no damn ballet. That's right. <laughs> we don't be doing the margarita. We be twerking. Twerking and throwing D everywhere. Right. So you saying that that's our culture, twerking? Throwing it back, making it clap? What little run is they throw that A in the circle? Right. That's our culture? Who's kidding? That's we, my, that's my personal opinion. Hey, but we want people, so we supposed to have the same I, culture. You know, I don't be, they, I don't be twerking. I get you, hey, but I, don't, I know why I you say that. I and I sing, okay. and you know, that's, it's something that's, that's biblical, that's biblical, you know. okay. But what, what would you say our culture is today, Kenny? When you think about so black separated, we ain't got no cut, there's nothing we can share together. We can't relate to anything. Uh oh. That's why it's so much chaos. Like. Hey, see, that's where you're wrong. The problem is, it's not that it's nothing that we can relate to, it's that we don't know what to relate to. I'm going to show you what we relate to. I'm going to show you that. Right. Now, what's our culture? I'm going to get to. You know, I always thought I was diverse and could relate to everybody, but they nah, told me so nah. different. Nah. Guess so, what? Why? That's what it is. Why? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Why? Because God said you're supposed to do what from those people? 
supposed to separate from those people, sis. You understand? I don't know. I already did that though. Like, right. So hold on. I get you. So now you didn't know. And I ain't never tried to go back on so, video. So now you didn't know what to do next then, right? Okay, I get you. Miss Kenya, what's our culture? I got you. Miss Kenya, what's our culture? All right. So now let me ask y'all this question. What's the Indian so, people culture? Close your eyes and see an Indian woman. What do you see? Then what else? I said, when you close your eyes, you think about an Indian woman. What do you see? Indian, I'm talking about uh, the ones from India. They got the red dots. What else? They wear the long gowns. What else? So you said they got the red dots. They wear the long gowns. Because I was going to say TP and arrows. TP, now that's the different Indians. That's the Native Americans. All right. <laughs> All right, so now that's a promise. Ezekiel 16 and 10. You say yeah. when you think about the Indians, you, oh, the, those people in India, the women, you see them with the red dot and the long gown. Guess who they stole that from? Y'all. So right. guess what? They don't dress like hoes. When you look at them, they be like, damn, you don't know if she's a damn princess or she's a regular woman just by the way she dressed. Right. If she over here, they stole that from y'all. Right. That's a part of y'all heritage, a part of y'all culture. The things that you should be looking to return to. Because that's what you're looking for, what to return to. We're going to give you that. Ezekiel 16. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 10. I clothe thee also with broided work. You know what broided works is? Broided works. You ever look at kings on TV and they be having the diamonds and stuff on their clothes and stuff like that? It be engraved in their oh, yeah. Guess what? God said that's a part of our heritage. That's the way. Those are the things that he gave us. And they just took it. Right. Read. Broided work. And shot thee with badger skin. Badger skin. You can't go to damn Gucci and buy badger skin. Right. That's a precious material. Read. And I girded thee about with fine linen. Fine linen. We wasn't wearing these damn uh, Walmart linens that we got on now. Or these wherever stores, Gucci linens. God said he gave us fine linen. Why? Because the world was made for us. So when it came to test us, guess what? We could say we wanted to wear anything that we seen and they had to bring it to us. Because we was the rulers of the earth. Y'all understand that? Read. And, and I, I, I can prove that in the Bible. Read. And I covered thee with silk. With silk. Hold up. You can't just go to no store and buy silk. Right. Silk is expensive. Right. I ain't never seen nobody wear silk. Silk. Right. You know, we be having a silk uh, do rag. Right. That mother be fake as hell. Right. <laughs> it be thin cotton. That's not real silk. But that mother feel good though, don't it? Right. Guess what? God said. I deck thee also with ornaments. With ornaments. You know what ornaments is? No. Hell no. That ain't a part of our, our country. Ornaments, it's like the bracelets and stuff that you have on. A lot of our sisters like to wear the, uh, the big ass bracelets on their ankles and on their wrists. And they get them from the, uh, the Chinese store or whatever. God said he gave it to us. That's a part of our culture. So guess what? But what we was doing here, it wasn't fake, it was real. We don't. I deck thee also with ornaments and I put bracelets upon thy hand. And a chain on thy neck. Oh, hold on. Y'all never see how like, y'all see all the rappers on the TV they be having on the big chains and stuff. You gotta ask yourself, why is that? Because that's a part of our culture. They don't know it, but it's in their spirit. Right. They had a change. Now they do it wrong. They buy the chains and they people in the hood are struggling. That's not right. right. But at one point, that was a part of it. It was normal for us to have these diamonds and these chains on. Why? Because we was royals. We didn't have to think twice about it. Read. And I put a jewel on thy forehead. He did what? I put a jewel on thy forehead. Now you said when you think about the, uh, the Arabian, they be having a red dot. God said he put what on our forehead? I put a jewel on thy forehead. So who did they steal that from? From us. Right. That's right. You got to imagine a woman with a jewel on her forehead. Everything. You're 100% right. That's right. But guess what? You're getting it back today. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 22. Because another part of your culture is the way you what? Your culture is the things you eat, the way you dress, the way you speak with each other, the way you deal with each other, the way you live. That's your culture. So God said y'all are royalty. Does royalty have a dress code? Nope. Nope. You said no? no. I'll give you an example. Uh, who the president? Joe Biden. In America, he would be, be considered royalty. He's at the highest of the high. Do Joe Biden walk out the house with some damn uh, sweatpants on with his meat flopping everywhere? No. Why? Because he has a dress code. Every time you see Joe Biden on TV, exactly. Every time you see him on TV, what he got on? A suit. Why? Because he understands that he has to hold himself to a certain standard. That's right. Guess what? God gave us a dress code as well. 
Hey, they either gonna they either gonna listen and they finna run away when we read this one. Right, let's read Deuteronomy 22. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it up. The woman so shall this, hold on. This is specifically for the woman. Read. The woman shall not. Hold on, hold on. The smiling like she already know what it's gonna say. The woman read shall not uh -huh. wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible says uh, a part of your culture is a woman is not supposed to wear an article of clothing that belongs to a man. What article of clothing is that? Uh, the Torah, I already know. Get up. Guess what? Hold that First Peter chapter two and verse nine. Because when you look at uh the Disney princesses like Cinderella, does she walk out the house with some damn tights on? Nope. nope. Why? Because she understands that she's Cinderella. Right. She understands that she comes from royalty, so she gotta present herself a certain way. But guess what? Now y'all start to understand that same thing. Read. This is the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. Uh -huh. But but ye are a chosen generation. So again, can you God said we are a chosen people? Read. A royal priesthood. What kind of priesthood? A royal priesthood. God said we was what, Mr. Victoria? Royal. The black man and black woman, we supposed to be royalty. That's right. You understand that? So guess what? You got a dress code. Now that you know, you got things you got to do. Because you ask, and now you get an answer, Mr. Tor. So read on. A royal priesthood and holy nation. A holy nation. So guess what? What does holy mean again? Separate. Guess what? The white woman can wear pants. Because the white woman not built like the black woman. That's right. She can wear pants. You be like, damn, she, uh, she got a long ass back. Right. Guess what? The black woman can't do that. So God said, y'all got to dress like royalty. Give me uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 12. You can drop everything in. First, uh, we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 22. So guess what? God said, y'all supposed to dress like royalty because y'all are royalty. 1 First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God said, the black woman is supposed to wear what, sister? All praise. So you getting it now. God said the black woman is supposed to be in modest apparel. Why? Because y'all holy. Y'all separate. Y'all right. not like the Chinese. God said y'all better than the Chinese. God don't give a damn what the Chinese doing. That's why they don't go through the things that we go through. Because right. it's not for them. Right. God said because we don't do the things that he told us to do. That's right. why we don't go through it. He don't give a damn about nobody else. Right. Read on. In modest apparel with shamefacedness. What, what does it mean to be shamefaced? No. Same face. Same face means you're not all in brothers' faces, doing all this, rolling your neck, doing all that. You see what I'm saying? God said that's same face. You ain't supposed to be in everybody's grill. Bro, you gotta ask yourself. All the time you turn on YouTube, go to hip hop, world star hip hop. Why you always see the black woman trying to fight the black man? Right. You don't ever turn it on to see Chinese a Chinese woman trying to fight the Chinese man. Right. Or an Arab woman trying to fight the Arab man. Right. But you see that in our in our community. Why? Because these laws that God gave us, they only for us. Look, because we the ones that need them. Face. It's always some dude in my face. Or I'm always getting get into it with some dude. What the fuck? Hold up. You say you always get into it with some dude. Yes. Guess what? Proverbs 15 and 1. Because again, we're teaching you our heritage. God told us how to make that thing go away. Proverbs 15 and 1. But guess what? You should, you should be on no one on one. Dude, get in your face. You Most of the time, I be in my car riding. This is happening on the road. See, while hey. That happened to you a lot? I mean, yeah. I mean, you need a job better, sis. I ain't gonna lie to you. That is you need a job. Means. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 1. Uh -huh. A soft answer turneth away wrath. So guess what? If you get an answer, get an into it with somebody, God said a soft answer will turn away their anger. This Bible teaches us how to deal with everything, sis. That's hey, right. now you can bring up that we can't show you how to deal with it in the Bible. All right. Now, I'm gonna go back to Deuteronomy 28. Because I'm going to prove further to you that this Bible is our history book. That the things we read in this Bible you can relate to, sis, all right? I don't even have a Bible right now. Hey, all praise. Guess what? You come, to, hey, you come to the school, we'll get you a Bible, sis. That's right. Deuteronomy 28, 15. We're we going to get you a flag, got our address on it. Guess what? There's sisters there, too. Right now, you only see brothers, but we got sisters that you can fit in with. Sisters that's applying the things that we're reading in this Bible. Right. Now, you ask where you need to be, guess what? There's a column. Hold that. No, no. Yeah, Second Chronicles 36 and 15. Because you ask where you need to be, right? You like, you was like, you supposed to be at one place and then God put you in another, you just end up being there. Yeah, Because like you don't know where you need to be with. Uh, uh, like 
Yeah, we are, we are the Israelites. You are Israelite. That's right. Yeah, we call it a school. You understand? Because that's where you go to learn. It ain't like the Christian church where you come in there, praise, dance, oh, run around. Okay. Yeah, you actually learn like you're doing right now. Right. You you learn and the people there become your family. Right. Because you say you need people to fit in with. Guess what? You got to be around like-minded people. Chapter 36, verse 15. Yep. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers. So guess what? When our people want to answer, God sent his messengers. That's right. It's not by coincidence. You hear it, we hear it, sis. Right. Yeah. God said, yeah, I know like it is. Right. A hundred percent. Remember, God said the man, man's goings are the Lord. So God said he sent to our people. When y'all need an answer, he sent his message. Right. We're not just regular niggas. We ain't out here trying to get money from the hood. We came out here to deliver a message for y'all. Right. The word of God, not my own words. Read. Rising up be times and sending. Rising up be times because we come out here often. Read. Because he had compassion on his people. So guess what? By the Lord putting you here right now, that's God having compassion. That's right. That's the Lord showing his mercy right. towards you. Right. Because he could have left her today and got killed. Right. So now you got a decision to make. Am I going to get with the Bible? Right or I'm going to keep doing my own shit. Right. I'm going to go get my candles or I'm going to keep the Sabbath. Right. That's the decision that you got to make. So read. Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So you know how a lot of times you see that brothers and sisters get shot down in our community. But before that happened, guess what? The Lord will always give his people a chance to repent. Right. You understand that? So right now you've been here, God showing compassion towards you. Right. Everybody not getting that compassion right now. He sent Pator here. Right. You understand that? Now I'm gonna prove to you that this Bible is a true book, it's our history book. After I read what I'm gonna read, if you walk around and say, if you walk back and say the Bible not true, you don't believe it, you don't practice it. I don't know what this is tell you. I don't never say no stuff like this. Nah, I'm just messing with you. 28, 15, watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. So this is Moses talking to the real Jews, talking to the Israelites, read. Right? But it shall come to pass. He told them, it shall come to pass. If I say, Petora, something gonna come to pass, what am I telling you? Nah, that means I'm telling you something that's gonna happen. If I tell you it's gonna come to pass, because you're gonna get gas when you leave, that means it's gonna happen, you understand? So Moses telling the people of the Bible, something shall come to pass and something shall happen, read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So Moses told Job, four mothers and four fathers, look, if y'all don't keep God's commandments, that's what's going to happen. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said if we didn't keep uh, his commandments, what was going to happen? What was going to happen to us? That we was going to be cursed. He told our forefathers, but we still living it today. Right. So now I'm going to read some of these curses. Don't you tell me what people this is happening to. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall that be in the city. How are we cursed in the city as a people, Mr. Tour? Just by being oppressed. Just by being oppressed. Look around. And not being together. Not being together. You're 100% right. Because guess what? If, if uh, a Chinese man gets shot down by a police, China will go to war with America. If a black woman gets shot down by the police like Breonna Taylor, we march in the damn streets and beg for justice. Guess what? That's proof that we cursed in the city. Look yep. around, Miss Pator. This is this is a curse. It's not normal for us to live like this. Remember, we're supposed to be kings. Imagine if you was raised your whole life as a princess, and then somebody said one day, told you one day, April Pator, we take you to the you gonna be sad as hell. Cause you used to living like a princess. Right. But guess what? We became, we normalized living like this. But right. God said this thing is a curse. Right. So cursed shall we be in the city, read. And cursed shall thy be in the field. Miss Pator, how was we cursed in the field as a people? As slaves. Slavery. We picked cotton for over 300 years. <laughs> We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, 
Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth